Don't you just hate it when this happens? All right, time to check my stew. This is gonna be so good. You son of a bitch. Okay guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. We've got this lid to our crock pot and the handle has come off of it. It's been off for a little while now and it kind of sucks. It's still a little warm and yes it's a little dirty it's because I'm using it as we speak. As you've seen from the uh, the intro I'm actually cooking and I got tired of trying to lift this off of there and burning myself and um, so, I, ha I found some things laying around the house I think I can use to fix this. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. Okay. I found this out in the garage. Found it all out in the garage. Found this little knob out in the garage. I don't know what it's off of, but I know for two years it hasn't been used. So, I don't figure I'm going to use it now until this project. So, and I found me a little washer. Get this up here for you. A little washer. And a screw. A screw that fits perfect inside that knob. What we're going to do is we're going to take this old knob off. And it's just on there. Where you at? I'm moving in too far. Just with a screw and a nut. And it's loose, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this nut off. There's the nut, and there's the bolt. And on the bolt, it's got this little plastic washer. It protects the glass. So we're going to take this washer off. And we're going to put it on our new bolt. Well, it's a used bolt, but. And we're going to put that back up under there, like that. <clears throat> Zoom me in here a little more. Whoops. We're going to put this little washer here on there like so. Then we're going to take our knob. I'll get my big hands out of the way here. A little hands, whatever. And we're just going to screw that on there. Just like that. Now we're going to give it a little tighten. with our screwdriver while holding the lid. This just happens to be a Phillips. Try to get your washer centered the best you can. I don't suppose it matters, but kind of weird about that stuff. And now, little little hack. Look around the house. I tell you what I've seen people do. Just a little block of wood even. Stuck a block of wood on there, sanded it a little bit, and just stuck a washer and screw, you know, drywall screw right up into the wood, and they made their own handle. Uh, this one looks a little better. Um, it is metal, so you're still going to want to use your mitts or whatever to lift it off, but that's okay, no problem. And I have an extra bolt and washer, or bolt and nut to throw in my toolbox. So there you go guys. Just a little quick hack because we've all had that happen. We've all had a, a lid where it's come loose and it doesn't want to stay tight and you get lazy and ah, I don't want to break out the screwdriver. Tighten it up and then next thing you know you pull it out of the drawer nobody knows what happened to the handle. Like wow where's the handle? Don't throw it away. 
improvise. Look around the house, see what you got. Surely somebody can find a screw, a screwdriver, and even a hunk of wood. So there you go, guys. Just a little life hack for you. So, there we go. Shea Bear 1000, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, guys. Appreciate all your comments, your likes, and uh, please remember to subscribe for more videos, and I'll chat at you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now.